And it was it was interesting to hear the sheriff saying that we just don't know the connection right now, which is why we didn't get a lot of suspect description. But I want to get to Lori Perez, who was standing inside that room as the sheriff was talking. Lori, can you tell us just the sentiment now, knowing and we know now that that deputy has passed? I mean, I think you could very clearly hear from the sheriff the emotion in his voice and how um, affected he has been by what happened tonight. He um, conveying how affected um, the many deputies who are now lining the hallways of the hospital have been by what has happened. You know, there was a moment where the sheriff asked for just a moment. Um, he seemed to need to gather himself, and that was really when he was talking about uh, the connection family has to service, speaking of his father and his grandfather, all who have served um, with the sheriff's department, the sheriff mentioning that um, many in leadership knew um, this deputy's father, which adds to the pain, uh, you know, you, and you also just spoke about that video, you know, the sheriff um, saying that they're trying to establish a connection to that video, but pleading, you really heard the urgency and the pleading in his voice as he asked the public for assistance anyone who might have been at that intersection around six o'clock who perhaps might have had um, a camera in their car that might have captured something that they don't even know is relevant um, but that they can forward to the sheriff's uh, department the sheriff um, saying at one point uh, we're going after you and that they've uh, gotten offers of help from every local and state and federal agency and he says they're going to use it all because uh, in his words this person or people need to get off the streets um, he's said that uh, this attack on this deputy, he does see it as a as attack, uh, a targeted attack, maybe um, not specifically on this one deputy, but on the department, on LASD. And um, he really um, was quite affected as he spoke about what happened tonight. Generations, three generations, Lori, uh, serving yeah. uh, as mm -hmm. law enforcement. Lieutenant Mike Clickenboomer, very well known. Uh, there tonight, um, the sheriff saying that this touches everyone, especially since everyone knew Mike. Uh, Ryan himself had been on duty for eight years and becoming a, a trainer, no small thing, yeah. means you're one of the best. Training officer. Mm -hmm. And he repeatedly also mentioned that this community, uh, you know, there are communities uh, throughout the country and throughout L.A. County where um, they're very pro-law enforcement. Palmdale happens to be one of them. The mayor um, and members of city council also following the sheriff and getting up there and talking about how much uh, this community loves deputies and the deputies love the community. Uh, and the sheriff alluding to the fact that this community will be in pain and, and he needs the public to come together not only to catch the suspect or the suspects, but to really rally together and to support each other as this community will be in pain as they grieve uh, this tremendous loss and such a horrible, uh, sudden tragedy tonight. They're saying no resource will be spared to catch this person. The LA County Homicide Department is known as the Bulldogs. That logo is seen across the country. It's because they bite on and they do not let go. Certainly they will find them. Lori Perez, thank you tonight. We know you're on it and we'll be on it throughout the night and into the morning. And our coverage will continue, of course. Yeah, of course, this is a developing story. Please stay with KCAL News for the very latest. You can go on our website, kcalnews.com.